Please start and turn and face the doors of the church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the waters of baptism, Teresa Mudoni died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. Amen. Amen. She was clothed with a white garment. We place this pole to remind her of the day she became a new creation. Oh, God. 
time, time is good. Take this opportunity to welcome all those who are joining us today. We have Deacon Larry who is joining us in this mass. We have Father Charles who is very close to this family and we have Father Joel who used to serve in this parish. And uh, I believe we have so many people coming from various places, some who have traveled from out of state, and all the family members and friends who are gathering here as we come here today to say our final farewell to our sister. We welcome all of you. My name is Father Martin, and I also minister here for the Swahili community, and I also serve at um, uh, St. Michael the Ark Age of Parish in Gallard. So we are going to gather here today. Even as we live here, I encourage you to continue praying for these family members. As we say our final farewells to our sister, and as they travel, we pray that God's grace will be with each one of them in this difficult moment. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your son who died on the cross was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep in Christ. Grant that through this mystery, your servant Teresa Mudoni, who has gone to her rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the proclamation of the word of God. Person who is doing the first reading, come forward. The first reading comes from the book of Sirach, 13, uh, chapter 6, uh, 14 to 17. A faithful friend is a stud shelter. He who finds one finds a treasure. A faithful friend is beyond price. No sum can balance his worth. A faithful friend is a life-saving remedy, such as he who fears God finds. For he who fears God behaves accordingly, and his friend will be like himself. The word of the Lord. Wimbo wa katikati. Wana diye chunga jiwa ngu sita pungu kiwa na ki tu.
Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. If I speak with human tongues and angelic as well, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong, a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and with full knowledge comprehend all mysteries, if I have faith great enough to move mountains but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous. It does not put on airs. It is not snobbish. Love is never rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not prone to anger. Neither does it brood over injuries. Love does not rejoice in what is wrong, but rejoices with the truth. There is no limit to love's forbearance, to its trust, its hope, its power to endure. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Let us all arise for gospel acclamation.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be complete. And this is my commandment, to love one another as I have loved you. One can have no greater love than to lay down one's life for their friends. And you are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants anymore because a servant does not know the master's business. I call you friends because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the father will give you anything that you ask in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a story of a pastor who was good at preaching at funerals and he would console people with his beautiful words. But on a particular day, it was his mother that died and uh, he was in tears. And many people try to calm him down, talking to him, but uh, he couldn't control himself. One of his church members said, but you are the one who will always encourage us not to cry when we lost our own family members. But we have been talking to you, trying to calm you down, but you have been in tears without stopping. He said to them, this death is different. When it is not somebody very close to you, experience is different. When it is someone very close to you, then it's another experience altogether. If you have not lost a very close friend or close family member, you may not understand why some people cry when they lost their own mem family members or friends. I can understand the experience of family members and this community and friends because of this loss of a dear mother, a dear friend, and uh, our colleague at work and member of this community. We are here to celebrate her life, to give her our respect, to appreciate who she is while alive. Mourn as Christians, not as those who do not believe or have faith. That who have been doing since this thing happened praying for her, for the family, and for our community. 
including praise, worship, including reading of scriptures, so that we can be strengthened in our faith, not give up because of what has happened to us. And now we are offering the highest form of prayer, which is the Eucharist, for her and for her family and this community. This form of mourning as Christian helps us to accept the reality before us. It helps us to submit the will of God for us here and now. We hear in the gospel that God loves us and he also expects us to love him by keeping his commandments. When we love God and we keep his commandment, that helps us to experience peace and joy in our lives. Especially at a moment like this. Christ that died for us out of love. He says there's no greater love than for someone to die for his friends. That's what he did for us. He wants us to do the same for one another, to be there for each other, to love one another, to serve one another, to make sacrifices for one another. That is what it means to keep God's commandment. Because the whole of the commandment is all about love. St. Paul tried in the second reading to explain more to us about love. He said, if you have all the gifts, but if you lack love, it means nothing. And Paul is saying love is the greatest of all the gifts that we can have. And we struggle to cultivate and practice loving one another. Mama Judith did her best to keep God's commandment in her life. She loved her family. She loved her friends, she loved her community, and she loved her work. From my encounter with her, she is a very gentle woman, a lovely woman, a cheerful woman, a kind soul, and a hardworking woman. Each time I see her, she's always cheerful. She's always smiling. I've never seen her in a bad mood. You can see also from testimony of many people. She loved to dance. She loved to be with her family. She loved to travel. She loves to help people when she has the opportunity. She loves to contribute in the community. She's a mother, a godmother, a mentor, and a sister to many people. These are the different ways she expressed her love. And so we can say that she lived her life loving people, keeping God's commandment. Unfortunately, 
we are going to miss her and miss all of these wonderful qualities that she has. But then, as Christians, we must remain strong in faith. It's a great loss to the family and to this community. But let us be strong in faith. Like I said, accept this reality and submit to the will of God so that God will continue to strengthen us. Let us not focus on the bitterness of this lost, but let us focus on the beautiful and wonderful memories that we have her while she was alive. And then we continue to offer her soul to God in prayer so that God, her creator, will grant her a merciful judgment and eternal life in his kingdom. And also we continue to pray for the family and this community that God will continue to strengthen us and grant us comfort as we go through this period of mourning and saying goodbye to our mother, Teresa. Start for the prayers of the faithful. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead with the confidence we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. Our response is going to be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Teresa Muthani, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord For our sister Teresa Muthoni, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she may be raised up on the last day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who are sick, especially Grace Mumbai, Wandururi, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our deceased relatives and friends, especially Nahashan Wanderuri, Jane Wanjiru, Susan Waringa, Catherine Mumbai, Nashan, Nahashan Mwangi, Peter Nahorye, Wambui Kiange, and for all who have helped us, that they may be rewarded in their goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our family, <clears throat> family and friends of our sister, Teresa Muthoni, especially her children, Anthony, Martin, and Peter and Jorge, and Judy Wang, Ombe, and their children, that they may all be consoled in grief by the Lord, who wept at death at the death of his friend Lazarus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people, Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the preparation of the gift.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. And praise and glory in the name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Teresa Modoni, say to your mercy that she, who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior, may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, the hope of, a, of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not added, and when this other dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was added, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. Helene from Bolaimani. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember our Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Edward our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Teresa, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the right direction and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you who may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace is grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. 
this with you, Father. With you, be good. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Teresa Mudoni may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Teresa Mudoni came from a family. She came, she came from a lineage and a community that loved her. And they have just a few words to say. We thank you for your patience. So if I call you, please come up here and line up so we can do this quickly. Uh, Helen Murage for the eulogy, please come up. Sheila Mbaker. Uh, Claire for the poem, Claire Gitwanja. Catherine Wairioko and Sam Kigo. Please come up here and line up so we can do this quickly. Um, we'll start with the eulogy, please. My name is Helen Murage, and I'm going to read the eulogy for our loved one, Teresa. And I can continue. Eulogy of the late Teresa Mudoni Wandorori. The late Mudo Teresa Mudoni Wandorori was born on 25th June 1958 at Okalao District in Yandara County. She is the fourth born of the late Nahashan Wandorori, Grace Mombi. She is sister to Joseph Mwangi Kanyagia, Mary Njeri Osore. Peter Njoroge, late Jane Wanjiro, late Susan Waringa, Charles Minor, and Veronica Nyawera Mudui. Teresa was born and raised in the Catholic faith and was baptized at Moiga Catholic Parish on 8th December 1970 by Reverend Father Hilary Wambugu, and later in 1971, she received her Eucharist sacrament from the late Bishop Cesar Maria Gatimo. She was an active Catholic Women's Association, CWA member in Dallas since March of 2015. Teresa attended Auburn Primary School for her primary education from 1965 to 1971. Later, she joined Keferegwe Secondary School in Kilinyaga from 1972 to 1975. After completing her education, Teresa began her professional journey, gaining experience in various organizations such as HZ Construction Company. In 2002, Teresa made the decision to relocate to Dallas, Texas in pursuit of new opportunities. Once in Dallas, Teresa joins Bright Springs Health Services, where her spirit and character endeared her to all her colleagues and clients. She worked until 21st June 2023, when she met her untimely death through a tra tragic car accident. Teresa <coughs> possessed a vibrant spirit and had a laugh for dancing, a passion for travel, she will take charge of the dance floor and chatting everyone with great and enthusiasm. Her life was highlighted by the adventures of embarked on and her memories she made. Cruises, cruises were her jam, sailing through the high seas across Bahamas Nassau, Belize, Cozumel, Jamaica, Cayman Island, Honduras, Puerto Rico, Cabo, Aruba, San Lucas, and she had a trip, oh, Santa Lucas. 
She had a trickle in her eyes and smile that could light up any room. During her travels, Teresa cherished the opportunity to experience mass in different cultures. She always found a way to attend mass, highlighting the importance of faith in her life. In Aruba, she once managed to convince a bewildered taxi driver to take her to church bright and early, attest, 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 att, sorry, a testament to her unvarying commitment to faith and fun. Family was a credibly important to Teresa, and she played many roles as a friend, aunt, mother, grandmother, and godmother, mentor and sister to many. Her family remembers her as their guru that kept them united. Her children recall her thoughtfulness and love that was beyond measures. She would buy a case of avocados simply because she noticed one of her kids enjoying an avocado at the neighborhood, neighbor's house. Her grandchildren have fond memories of her spoiling them, showering them with love, fulfilling their desires, and taking them on unforgettable forgettable adventures. Teresa was not only a sister, mother and grandmother to, their, to her biological family, but also to others. She adopted along the way, she adopted along the way. Friends remember her as someone who always op opened her home constantly, showing up for them and always sought opportunities to help those in need. She leaves a legacy of genuine love, friendship, and unwavering support. Teresa had a particular fondness for holidays and ensuring everyone wore the appropriate attire and color for each occasion. Christmas, Independence Day, Halloween were some of her favorites, but birthdays were her most favorite as she could get away with using so many balloons for decoration. She is surviving by her children, Anton Kagwana of Texas, USA, Martin Mwangi of Zimbabwe, Peter Njoroge of Olang uh, Ogata Longai, Kenya, and Judy Wangombe of Missouri, USA. At the time of the passing, she had 10 grandchildren, Tess Senior, Jason, Biden, Tess Jr., Jessica, Imara, Noni, Nderi, Chomba, and Dee. May Teresa's spirit live in our hearts, and may the laughter she brought into our lives continue to resonate through cherishable memories. May her soul and the soul of all the faithful departed rest in eternal and peace through mercy of God. Amen. Thank you. Uh, Judy, her daughter, wrote this poem for her for, as an attribute, and I'd ask Claire to read that on behalf of Judy. Claire. Poem, Sorry. an angel. An angel lived among us, a gift from God above. You showered us with kindness and gave us all your love. You cherished every moment in the present and the past. You were always there for us and all those who crossed your path. You loved all your children, each one a different way, nestled close within your heart, though now you're far away. You've gone to live with Jesus, but you're still with us today, smiling down on every one of us and telling us you're okay. You've earned those wings, a guide along our strife, and you will always be our angel, so rejoice in eternal life. Thank you. And from the community that uh, Teresa loves so much, we shall hear an attribute, Sheila.
a tribute from the DFW Kenyan Catholic community. The multitude that is gathered here and the outpouring of support and love to Teresa's family is indicative of what kind of person she was and what she meant to many of those who knew her. We're not here by mistake. What has happened is tragic, but all the same, God's holy will. As Kenyan Catholics here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we are thankful that we touched her life as much as she touched our lives. Mama Judy, as she's fondly known to many, was one of the pioneers of this community and literally the bridge that linked us to Holy Family of Nazareth. This is her home parish. As a community of faith, we have journeyed with the family through prayer, we have mourned together, and we have laughed together over the years. If there's anything we've learned from Teresa, it is the power of community. We must not walk alone in this life. We need each other. We need more unity than division. We need to thrive in our diversity. We need to belong somewhere and find a home for our souls. Teresa was a staunch Catholic who loved, who loved her faith and bound her children to the Lord. She demonstrated this by being an active participant. She was a parishioner here at Holy Family of Nazareth Catholic Church. She belonged to the St. Monica Jumuia, a small Christian community. She was a member of the Catholic Women's Association, CWA, and she was also a choir member. Now that we know what defined Teresa, have strong faith in God and love for community, she had no doubt that a God, there's a God and that life does not end with physical demise of the body. To honor Teresa, we ask you to find a home in a good faith-based community whose morals and values revolve around spiritual devotion, devotion to the family unit and the church family, charity work, respect for and promotion of human dignity. That is what the Catholicism is about. That is the faith that Teresa prescribed to. That is what we stand for as the Kenyan Catholics here in Dallas. For the Kenyan Catholics, the seed that she planted here at Holy Family has now matured and is providing much needed shade and fruits. From a small group that first met right outside this hall 13 years ago, we have now grown to over 350 registered members. Thank you, Teresa Mudoni. To the Wadururi family and the entire Mwega community, we pray, that, we pray that Teresa's legacy will encourage you to keep going. Sometimes we do not recognize our full potential until we have no other choice but to fight and overcome fear that comes with death. But fearly, fear is merely the absence of faith. Out of this affliction of death, may you grow in your faith to overcome fear. May you find resilience in your healing and recovery to carry on the legacy of Teresa. On behalf of the Kenyan Catholics here in Dallas, please accept our deepest, sincere, and heartfelt condolences. We're here to support you, and we wish you well as you cope with the new normal without beloved Teresa. Holy Family of Nazareth, the patron of St. Teresa's home parish, pray for us. St. Josephine Bakita, the patron saint of the DFW Kenyan Catholics, pray for us. St. Monica, the patron saint of the CWA and Teresa's small Christian community, pray for us. St. Cecilia, the patron saint of all choirs of which Teresa was a member, pray for us. All you angels and archangels, pray for us. May her soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Thank you. Teresa comes from a village called Mwiga back in Kenya and uh, they would like to say a word.
is good. Now the time. Mudhani Wadroli, as she's popularly known here, comes from the village of the, I mean the, the Nyeri district, Mwaiga location, Aboni sublocation. And we are host of very many Moiga people in here. And most of you have written tributes, long ones and short ones, which I cannot read. Please read them in your um, best thing. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and read my own, because the others are too long. We cannot read them over here. Mudoni, my friend, my sister, and your package. If you invited Mudoni, you expected to see me because she said I was part of her package. You left it so suddenly. I will cherish the last conversation we had when you introduced me, when you introduced the song Maisha no Maya, which means life is now. Maisha no Maya to me, I believe it was your way of saying goodbye. Memories together are so many, and they will never go away. Shine on to the rest, to the next life, till we meet again. Mudaniwa Dorodi. Thank you. Finally, we hear from the family. Kigo. The family of Teresa Muthoni are grateful and thankful, and there are not enough words to express the level of gratitude that they have for all the people who have supported them. Especially grateful to God the Creator, the Funeral Arrangement Committee, the Holy Family of Nazareth Catholic Church Community, our clergy, including Father Martin, Father Charles, Father Joel, Father Reggie Odima, the DFW Kenyan Catholics, the leadership, the choir, the CMA, the CWA, and all Jumuiyas, or our small Christian communities, especially the Jumuiya of St. Monica that Teresa Muthoni was a member. We also want to thank the co-workers of Teresa Muthoni and all friends and family. Your prayers, love, care and support during this difficult time is greatly appreciated. May God reward you beyond your imagination. Thank you so much. But we thank you for listening, and uh, the interment will be in Kenya on the 7th uh, of July. There are a few in the family who are traveling. And then after these prayers, we are about to conclude. Please join us across the hall uh, in the cafeteria for a repast and a little bit of time with the family. God is good. And all the time. Father Martin back to you. I now invite Father Charles to lead us in the commendation of the dying. Final commendation, please, Todd. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Teresa. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Teresa again and enjoy her friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. 
Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. your heads, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Teresa in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Teresa in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn to others and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another, one another with assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and now with you and with our sister forever. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And in peace, let us take our sister Teresa to a place of rest. I'd like to take this opportunity also to thank all of you for being here today. I know we have so many people coming from various places to honor our sister and to give her our final farewell. I acknowledge the presence of people coming from various churches. I can see some ministers coming from uh, uh, other denominations. Uh, we have journeyed with you throughout the last week since this happened. We appreciate every support that you have given to all of us. Arts Brothers, thank you so much. All those who have participated in various ways, all those who have traveled from far, we pray that the Lord may grant you safe journeys as you return. And as for the family, all those who will be traveling to Kenya, we also pray for your safety and may God's blessings continue to be with all of you. We are now going to process out and then afterwards then there's going to be reception.